Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. In this Power BI video tutorial, we will learn what if parameter in Power BI and how to add the what if parameter in Power BI report. These are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will see what is what if parameter in Power BI and we will also learn it is possible to display the what if parameter using the calculated column in Power BI or not. In the same way, we will learn through what if parameter we can use the text values or not. So let's begin with what if what if parameter in power bi it is basically to use to analyze the data in the power bi report based on the condition applied it displays the data dynamically and filters it for example we can easily check what if the sales is increased by 10 percentage using the what if parameter in power bi so now i will show you the example how to add the what if parameter and use the what if parameter in power bi report open the power bi desktop load the data using the get data option once the data has been loaded under the visualization select the cluster column chart here align it properly and drag and drop the sales field as well as the country field in it so that it displays the value based on the country now to enable the what if parameter under the modeling tab you can see the new parameter option is presented here click on this new parameter what if the new pop-up window appears enter the parameter name here i am going to add as a sales percentage here you can see under the data type the there are three different data types one is whole number another one is decimal number and the final one is fixed decimal number here i am going to use the whole number data type and you can also see there are four different things are presented one is for minimum value another one is to set maximum value and under the increment we can pass increment count and under default we can set the default value here i am going to increment it as two and the maximum is two i am going to set the default value as one minimum value i am going to set it as zero and click on the ok button here you can see a new slicer visual has been added under the field section you can see the new table has been generated with the sales parameter which generates the series and another one is sales percentage value i am going to increase the font size of this slicer and i am going to align it properly. now we can apply the sales value and calculate the total sale value by using the dax formula for that here you can see under home tab new measure is presented click on that new measure to calculate the total sales value Once the formula has been ordered, select the check icon here. Here you can see under the sales percentage value, it displays the calculated measure value. Now simply drag and drop to the cluster column chart where it displays the sales value and the total sales value with the same. We can change or slice the parameter slicer value based on that it filters and displays the values in the clustered column chart. This is how we can add or create the what if parameter in the Power BI report. Next we will see we can use the what if parameter in a calculated column or not in the Power BI report. The answer is no because the calculated column does not support the what if parameter in Power BI and we cannot filter the values using the calculated column in what if parameter because the what if parameter supports only for the Power BI DAX measures and we can replace the calculated column with the Power BI measures using the what if parameter. In the same way we will see we can use the power bi text in the what if parameter or not it is also not possible because the what if parameter accepts only the numerical data type and not the string data type under the data type option that is presented in the what if pop-up we can see the whole number decimal number and the fixed number and not the string data type to input the string values in it i hope you are clear on this point with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned what if parameter in the power bi report and how to create or add the what if parameter and display the values based on the parameter slicer in the cluster column chart in a power bi report in addition we also learned it is possible to use the calculated column in what if parameter or not and it is possible to add the text type values in the what if parameter or not thanks for watching this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you